That's how you stop wine from going off. Oh hi, how are you going? I was just telling Hunter all about the new Coravin. Now, many of you have probably heard about Coravin before. It's the product that allows you to extract wine from a bottle through a cork without the wine going off and because it actually replaces the wine with argon gas. Innovation, yes, but that's mm, three years ago. What we're doing now is a brand new world first innovation. You can actually now get wine from a screw cap using this new product. This is the innovation that they're releasing right now. And at the moment, it's only Australia and New Zealand where you can buy this, which is why we're getting early access to it. Because we're Australian wine writers. Basically what this is, it's a new plastic cap that screws on top of the um, screw cap and replaces it. And if you look here quite nice and tightly, it's actually this little uh, plastic membrane and that's what the needle now pierces. So let's give it a go. First of all, quickly take off your screw cap and simply screw this back on. Okay, and you've got to do that quickly because you don't want any of the oxygen to release inside to start the oxidation process, okay? Now we're doing this with a lovely Devil's Corner Pinot Noir from Tasmania. I love this one, it's a good one. Okay, now here's the Coravin. Now the Coravin uses these um, argon gas canisters. They're not cheap. They're around about uh, three for 20 euros, which is around about 30 bucks Australian, which is, just Google it, you'll find them available for sale in your area of the world. Now, are you ready for this? You've got your Coravin, you put this down here, and you do it right until the pin is at in top, uh, attached to the top. And then, what you need to do is you quickly go down like this. Ow! That's the sound of wine crying when it's being shivved. So, now we've got the wine, and the whole idea here is you've got to turn it upside down, so you've actually got the wine coming in there, okay? And then press it. You probably need to do a few pumps at the start of it because there's not much air in there already to displace it and create some volume. As you can see, every time I pump it, you've got argon gas going in there, and then when you stop pumping it, the wine is forced to come out the um, same uh, needle, I guess you could say. There you go. Oh, a little bit of an overflow there. Mmm. I've always been a big fan of Devil's Corner Tasmanian Pinot, and now, well, that, it probably wouldn't last more than two hours in my house because it's such a good wine. But imagine if you weren't a Pinot drinker, and you're only an occasional once a month Pinot drinker kind of guy and you're only one glass of what? Who are the people who only ever have one glass of Pinot? Does anyone know any? No. Anyway, so you could be that person and you could still drink the Pinot. So there you are. Such a great innovation. Is it worth the money? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you later.